Hey guys, so um, update. If you are in one of my um, groups on Facebook, like concussion, anxiety, depression, I even started, I even requested to join some suicide groups as well. Yesterday, I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that you probably read what I went through yesterday. Um, so yesterday was probably the hardest day of my life to date. I wanted to kill myself that I got a knife a few times. And then one of those times, um, my husband grabbed it so hard from my hand and I, if I didn't let go, I felt like I was, I felt like my, my thumb was going to be severely injured that I needed to go to the doctor. So a lot of things have been really happening in the past few days. And um, so basically, I, I mean, I, I think I mentioned this before, I started a GoFundMe, uh, I started, I started a Go, GoFundMe campaign to help with my medical bills. And um, I just realized a few days ago, because I asked on the GoFundMe groups, and then one person was very honest about it and said, this is really more of like a popularity contest. And people here are actually just thinking about themselves and nobody really cares. There are a lot more scammers in the groups than people like you that are actually seeking for real, legit help. So that really hit me a lot and it was really hard and it just kind of pushed my anxiety. And then there were things happening personally with my husband and I and just life in general. And then, you know, I got another medical bill and that didn't really help out. And so yesterday, like, it just felt like a whole building fell all on me and I couldn't really see the light anymore. There was just nothing. I just, it felt like, you know, every time I moved, I was hurting myself. Every time I moved, I bumped into something and I hurt myself. Every time I just, you know, like, that's exactly how I felt like. And then yesterday, it just like really snapped and I just, I just wanted all the pain to go away. My whole entire, like everything is, was just really terrible um, and this well it's still in the morning but earlier this morning it was still really bad but um and the reason that i do this and the reason that i do my vlog is to help out anybody else that's going through what i'm going through and the reason that i also post on my facebook groups is because i really do need the emotional and mental support and everybody has been really wonderful and supportive and the beautiful words really does help everything um when I woke up, I was still really in a bad place. I was still really down and I was still feeling like I was walking in, I was still walking in like water. It was really kind of sluggish. And then just reading all of these amazing, beautiful words and positive vibes for me, it really has pushed me and elevated my mood tremendously. Um, I didn't record this yesterday because I was so down like, it was just going to be so hard and I couldn't record this this early in the morning because, you know, I had to take care of my son and I was still kind of battling some of it. So just to let you know, every single day, every minute of the day, I am struggling every day. I push myself every day. I try to put in all the important things like my son, my family, my, I mean, that's pretty much it. And um, I struggle and I... I keep pushing myself and when I'm, because I'm pushing myself so hard, it really does drain me. It drains me mentally, it drains me emotionally, so it, it's really hard. I get a lot of questions on what's going on, you know, so basically it's more of my goal is I need money. I need funding for my medical bills. If I don't get the money, I can't keep going with my tests. I'm still in the testing phase, and then I still have to go back to my doctors. More than one specialist, I have. I still have to go back. One is the overall post-concussion syndrome, and the other one is for my vision post-concussion syndrome. So those are two different specialists. I didn't know that, but one is vision, one is overall. So those are two different doctors, two different bills. And every single test, which I, I think I got like three tests left um i still have you know i still have to pay for that and i got two bills which i still got to pay for just thinking about that and i still have to set up my um appointments because i was really under the weather i had to cancel my three uh, three tests due to being so sick 
that I literally couldn't get out of bed three days in a row. I would get up to eat, to go to the bathroom, and that's pretty much it. So now I feel better, but my eyes are still watery, my nose still itches. Um, I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I I can drive now. Like I can walk around and it won't really make me woozy or just like make me I have to sit down on the floor or something like that. So um, that was happening. And then um, I'm in the appeals, appeal stage of my, um, my, what is that, application for social security assistance or social security benefits, like disability, because I need, sweetheart, can we stop, please? I need the funds to pay for my medical. Again, it just goes back to that. And, um, after that, um, you know, I, I notice like I'll get an email or notification like nobody really, nobody really is giving you any money for your GoFundMe account and also or your campaign and nobody has really contributed in your Facebook fundraiser and things like that. Like that takes a toll. Like when it was doing that and I kind of noticed because there's going to be a notification or an update from Facebook or email. Like I try not to think about it because my anxiety goes through the roof. But then when I'm when I'm looking at it and I'm realizing like no one really just cares. No one gives a shit. If I die, if I get sicker, if I'm battling this monster on a daily basis. And so that kicks off my anxiety, which pushes me to my depression. And so that's what happened yesterday. It was just too much. I just felt like I was drowning. I was 20 feet under. And no matter how much I struggled to get out and go into surface and get some air, it just felt like someone was still pushing me down every single time. Every time I tried to gain a foot, someone was pushing me down five feet lower. So it was just that kind of struggle and everything just really kind of got like, kind of imploded in a sense. And that's what, that was my struggle yesterday. And um, it's been really, really rough. Like yesterday, if I was recording this yesterday, I probably wouldn't, like no one would understand what I'm, what I'm saying because I would just be in tears the whole time and I would just be like sobbing so hard. It was that crazy. It was just that horrible of a day. Um, there were a lot of people that were asking me what's going on and so that, that's, that's what's going on on a daily basis. And there are some days when I, you know, I have limitations and then there are some days that it just accumulates for how many days and it reaches my limit and that's when I just implode and that's when I just, I just can't handle it anymore. Like there's enough money for my husband's income to pay for our bills, but there's not enough to supplement, I mean, to actually afford my medical because we have a copay for the specialist, specialist for, for us is like 35 I think just to see them and then they charge you for other things and usually it's between like 170 180 to 200 or a little bit over 200 that's one and then one test is about the same range so just imagine I need to do three more tests that's already about $600 max you know let's just say the average is $600 just for that I still didn't get any bills for like three or four tests that I already did. I only got like two of them so far. And then I have to go to my both my doctors, which is going to give me the right recommendation for what kind of therapy that I need to go to. And the therapy is also gonna be in the same range. So just, that's what I keep thinking about, which I don't really wanna think about it, but that's what I'm thinking about. Like, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to accomplish. Like, that alone, the three tasks that I still haven't done is $600. The three to five tests that I've already done, I, be, I build two of them, that's already $400. There's three of them that I'm waiting, that's a thousand. Just imagine, I have to do all of this really soon and there's not enough money to just supplement this kind of situation. Um, and that's why I applied for social security disability and that's why um, I contacted a lawyer to help me and that's why I started a GoFundMe and a Facebook fundraiser because I, not only am I mentally and emotionally drowning, but I'm also 
medically, financially, for the med my medical situation, I'm also drowning in that as well. Like, I just want to be me again. I just want to get better. And people are, you know, people are being kind and nice and having all these suggestions. And I tell everybody the same thing. I know what I need. I just don't have the money to get what I need. Our insurance does not support a lot of things. It does because PCS and anxiety isn't really, to them, they, clarif they classify as more of an elective, I think. So it's not really covered a lot. It's a very... I think we shoulder a like, huge percentage. Um, so that's one problem. And when that happens, I mean, when you look at the bill, when you look at your medical bills, it's really, really expensive what insurance covers. Just imagine where a big percentage of that insurance isn't even covering at all. Like for a therapy session, okay, honey, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. For a therapy session, one session, um, I don't, I don't even think our insurance covers it at all. Zero. And that can range, depending on how great the counselor is, that can range between 200 to 1,000. And that's one session. Um, so I really need my doctor's recommendation because I feel like when they do that, the insurance covers more. And I know I'm not the only one going through with this, so that's why I, you know, I started my vlog, and it's, because there are definitely more days than not that I do feel like I'm very alone, and I just, I feel very isolated in that sense, mentally and emotionally, and just, I just feel like nobody cares. So this is also more of like, for me, and for anybody else that needs it, I, my biggest goal is that I'm hoping in a year from now, hoping that I can go through my entire vlog, my PCS, anxiety, depression vlog, and I can go through it and it actually, I have recovered way more and I'm a way better. And I can look back at it and say, oh my gosh, I was in such a horrible place. I was in such a dark place. And I'm so glad that I'm way better now. And that's my number one goal to do that. Number two, I want to spread as much awareness as possible because I feel like people really kind of not really care when you talk about PCS or like TBIs even. Like they just say, oh, so your head just hurt. Like it, it's just, it not, it's not even that. Um, so I want to spread that as much as possible. I feel like the more people are aware of it and hopefully the right people become aware of it that they changed our medical system in which this won't become, this will be more of closer to 100% covered than not. There are other people out there that even with insurance that most of the tests that I'm doing, they're shouldering five to 10,000. So that's, that's another thing. And also another thing, the third is I'm making sure anybody out there that's going through what I'm going through, they watch one of my vlogs and they feel like they're never alone because I'm going through the same thing that you're going through. And so that's my other objective. Um, thank you guys so much for all the beautiful words and the encouragement and the positive vibes and the prayers, everything for the private messages, the comments, everything. They mean so much. You have no idea how it changes my mental state and emotional state at that moment from being in such dark situation despair to happy tears so thank you so much um i hope you enjoyed this video that you're gonna hit the like button and if you haven't yet the subscribe and the bell so you're notified every single time i do upload a new video again my campaign is down in the description section including other social media accounts thank you guys so much for the love and support and um and i'll see you guys again next time Bye.